So this evening we were supposed to uh, land on an ice-capped island because uh, when the ship passed here a week prior there was a carcass of a whale uh, and then we came, when they came through high tide at that time there was some uh, polar bears uh, on the island wanting to get to the dead whale to eat but during low tide they could see that there was a lot of polar bears that were there eating so that was a very good expedition that day we wanted to repeat that today uh, the, the captain wanted to take us there today but it was foggy by the time they got there uh, they sent out a scout ship Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Um, so the scouts went out and the ice was way too thick for the uh, Zodiacs to navigate. So what ended up happening is they ended up canceling the uh, expedition for the evening. But it would have been perfect because the fog started lifting. We all got excited. We were going through dinner and as soon as we finished dinner, they announced that we, we're, we weren't going to be able to go out because the ice floes were too thick and there was no way that that ice was going to be able to clear overnight. It was moving way too slow and it's kind of treacherous so for the uh, Zodiacs. So they decided to scrap that idea and so we're sailing on to Svalbard uh, for another adventure. We're gonna do some kayaking tomorrow. I won't, but Emerson will. Um, and so there's also some uh, polar exploration, uh, hikes and stuff. So that's what's left uh, to do. So that should be nice once we get there. You can see there's a lot of birds, which means there's land somewhere. But these birds tend to go out. There were birds at 89 degrees north, which is like, Amazing because there's no land anywhere in sight, just ice floors everywhere. While on the Commandant Charco, we came across a captivating game called Corridor. Corridor is a simple two or four player strategy game designed by Mirko Marchesi and published by Gigamic Games. It's won awards like the Mensa Mind Game Award in 1997 and Game of the Year in several countries. In Corridor, each player has a pawn they want to move to the opposite side of the board. They also have fences to block their opponents. On your turn, you can either move your pawn or place a fence. Did you lose yet? <laughs> the goal is to reach the other side while hindering your opponent's progress without completely blocking them. Got me out of bed and I'm out here to see where are they. 
Good morning. Did you see anything? Not in the world. Find in a bus. Here? boats that I've ever been on and I really enjoy being on it and I really don't want to get off of it and I'm going to be really sad when I have to get off of it because when we get off of it it's not like we're going to continue our trip or anything you know like I'm just going home I'm going home I'm going to do some laundry and I'm going back to Indiana and I'm like man and I was like North Pole Indiana North Pole Indiana where would I rather be you know <laughs> Like, if I have options, I'm, I'm, I'm picking here. They're going to have to drag me off this boat. I'm so serious. I'm, I'm going to be kicking this. Group. like, no, I don't want to leave. No. <laughs> like a toddler. <laughs> I'm going to have to get, like, the boat. And it's going to have one guy on each arm just pulling me off the boat. I'm going to be like, no. I'm grabbing the door frame and shit. I don't want to leave. And there's just... One of my favorite things about this trip to the North Pole is not even the North Pole. It's the people. The, the people you meet on a trip like this are just so interesting. Like, you meet the most interesting, intelligent, and eclectic, and well-traveled people. And I'm really going to miss that because I don't often have the chance to interact with people, the, the type of people that you find on a boat like this. And having like two whole weeks just with all of them has been incredible. And that's, that's what I'm gonna miss most, for sure. But uh, hey guys, uh, don't forget. Do you know what I'm gonna say? Do you know what I'm gonna say? I know you know what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say don't forget to like and subscribe because liking and subscribing helps our channel so much so please 
if you like the video, like and subscribe. It really helps us out as a small channel. We're trying to grow. We're trying to make content that you guys want to see. So if you leave that little like, you hit that little subscribe button, you like our content, that helps other people who might like our content see our content. So thank you guys so much for supporting us. Um, and we'll see you next time. By the way, if you made it this far in the video, we love you more than the rest of our uh, subscribers and, and viewers. Just uh, don't tell them that. Yeah. See you guys.